That's coming up straight after Wales tonight. Now, the humble honeybee could well prove to be our latest defence in the battle to beat superbugs. Yes, a major research project is underway to find out more. So where better to go than the National Botanic Gardens at Llanarthony in Carmarthenshire, which is where we sent James tonight. James, there must be a bit of a buzz about this, I'd imagine. Yes, absolutely. But I'd hardly say that the honeybee is a humble little fellow. We know how important uh, honeybees are to food production. It puts food on our table, but also that sweet stuff we put on our toast in the morning. It turns out that honey could actually contain very important compounds that could take on superbugs like MRSA and Clostridium difficile. And a major project that's been launched today in association with Cardiff University's College of Pharmacy is planning to find out just how important those compounds are. And you at home could get involved too. David Wood reports. Could these hold the answers to protecting against infections like C. difficile and MRSA? That's the question scientists at Cardiff University and the National Botanic Garden are hoping to answer. All honey is different depending on where it comes from and the plants bees use to make it. So the university is asking us to send them small samples of homemade honey from across the UK to see if it has any antibacterial properties which could fight hospital acquired infections. People may be aware that antibiotics have become increasingly ineffective due to the build up of resistance. So we're looking at alternative approaches to treat these problem organisms such as MRSA and Clostridium difficile. So what we have is a honey sample here that contains chemicals that kill bacteria. The clear area in this sample shows where the honey is fighting the infection. And once that honey has been identified, scientists here at the National Botanic Garden will then try and work out the plant used to make it in a hope that those plants can be used to develop new drugs. Researchers at the garden have spent the last three years developing the Barcode Wales project where they record the DNA structure of all flowering plants in Wales, more than a thousand varieties. What we're going to be able to do is take a honey sample, um, extract the DNA which has got all the plants which the bees have visited to make the honey and we can say, comparing it to our Barcode Wales data, all of the plants which the bees visited. The bee population is in steady decline as they're being killed off by a bacterium they're not immune to. So it's also hoped this study will come up with the answers to boost numbers. By doing this research we may find which plants are um, good for the bees and good for bee health and um, then we can plant accordingly and encourage people to plant the correct plants in their garden. So we'll soon know if something we keep in our kitchens can fight hospital superbugs. David Wood, Wales Tonight.